Wee! Yeah. What you want me to say? I'm tired. But, uh, that long day. It was, uh, difficult. I don't know. What do I say? Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, listening to me. She made a boy on the exciting as always. Woo, woo. Yeah, yeah. Alright, truth is, eh? I don't know, I'm not too excited today, eh? This game's alright, it's nothing special. I was actually very excited when I got this because, for whatever reason, I was just having one of those nights where everything was going wrong and then. Came down to the wire, this was my last game of the night. I couldn't play anymore. I was gonna be so tired the next morning, so I. I made a choice. I said, By God, if this ain't the greatest game ever, you're gonna have to quit your YouTube career and there. Uh, well, it was a goddamn good game, and so. That's what you're watching, and. It was a real tremendous moment. It's one of those moments that you, uh. You love about video games, and. That's what I'm here to talk about today. This is the second part of my life story. This is the part where I deal with video games in my life. So, woohoo. This should be an exciting video. People seem to think that I'm just some random hillbilly ass hermit who got into this game. It's the first game they ever played. And to them, I say, oh no. I was playing games before, yo. Grandparents, grandparents, had grandparents. Which, uh, I'm not sure I understand, but, uh, yeah. I'll, I go back to Pong, motherfuckers. That was the first game I picked up, see? When you're in the, uh, disc golf business, yeah, when you're in the disc golf business, you, you tend to run into, uh, a lot of shady characters. There's, there's big money if you know how to play, okay? Your card's riding. In disc golf, and so you tend to run into some shady characters, and so from time to time, you know, I get offered cocaine, horse tranquilizers, I get offered speed meth, you know, the regulars. I mean, honestly, it sounds exciting, but the couple times I did, whoa, stuff kicked like the spastic German mule, yeah. Ain't no normal spastic mule. This one's German, and so... Fucking recommend one thing. I would say, do not take drugs. I mean, they fun for about five seconds, but then you're like, Whoa, Jesus! I feel like a Spanish... A Spanish donkey named Conquistador. This, I once thought I was up to on cocaine, and I thought I was a... Spanish donkey my name not Conquistador, but that's a story for another day. But yeah, so one day somebody offered me Pong, and they said, basically this is virtual tennis, and well, I said, I like tennis, and I like virtual shit, I might like this. So I put on the old Pong, and just like this golf, I quickly developed quite a talent for it. Such a talent, in fact, that my record, my William Lowe's record, was 88 and 1. So impressive that I get invited to the first ever gaming expo, it was called. 64 Bitter Nights. And, my God, it was fun. I saw a lot of crazy games and that's the first time I really considered myself a gamer, I guess, them. See, I came into this thing and I discovered all sorts of games. I discovered RPGs. I discovered those. Remember those old text-based games where it's like, you know, you're, uh, you're, you go into a room with a naked lady and you see lube and a chainsaw and you got a chicken. Yeah, it was that kind of game. And so, uh, yeah, I got excited about all these wondrous things. And so for the longest time, for the for the early part of the 90s, up until about Doom, Doom was a big game for me, up until about Doom, I was stuck on these quest-based games, and Zork was probably my favorite, I saw that in the air. I heard that was in the last Call of Duty, and 
If so, I'd be very interested in playing it. I don't know. I was a Zork pro. I could recite to you every fucking mission. Well, I don't know what you call them missions. I could recite every word of Zork if you asked me to right now. But I ain't gonna. Because I gotta get on to Doom. God, this, this commentary's almost over. Wow. That was the first time I really saw where games were going. I mean, for me, Doom was Genesis. For those of you who don't know, Doom was the first ever big online multiplayer shooter. And there, uh, wow, it was it was amazing. Just everything about that game it just oozed awesomeness. And there, uh, yeah, I wasn't quite as good as that. I was a bone and Zork, but I get with it. I was about as good at it as I'm Call of Duty, which is. To say I can have flaws, but I'm still a good player. So, basically, see around this time, I don't remember much of my early 20s, so all I can really tell you is that uh, Doom was pretty amazing. I remember a couple other games. I remember Quake and uh, Half-Life and shit, but wasn't really till the genesis of the uh, consoles that I became big after that. I got in with the... Uh, the PS2. Still my favorite console to take. I didn't get a 360 by the way or anything to that. And it's a new generation until uh, till just a couple of weeks ago. But um, I was been fine, you know. I just had kids to not worry about it too. But uh, yeah. The PlayStation was by far the greatest console. And I don't know. I guess it's kind of Interesting how my game taste changed with every new system I got. I mean, with the old blacky computers, I I liked me some uh, some old text-based adventures and some pong. Then for the then for the bigger high-tech PCs, I liked me some Doom, Quake, Half Life. You know how it is. Then for the consoles, I mean, I had an Xbox, but I won't do any of Halo. Everybody else seemed to be picking into the halos, but me, nah, man. I, I just couldn't get behind all that spaceman shit, I mean. It's just been done to death. I didn't like the Master Chief, he just seemed to be too much of a one-dimensional character, and seems like a bit of a ridiculous request for a guy like me. I mean, just look at me, I'm not exactly two-dimensional myself. I'm not even one-dimensional, I'm... I'm just a, I'm not even a dot on a page. I'm nothing. But I'm the greatest damn nothing you ever seen. But uh, yeah, I couldn't get into the halos. What I liked was the cram they have autos. They was fantastic. I got in with Grand Theft Auto 3. God, that game took up a lot of time. I was out of Fred House by that point and so uh, you know, I was slightly more mature. I didn't go Painting penises on my penis. Thus making my penis redundant. Cause bet you best believe my penis won't redundant. But I've kinda babbled on about this for the last while. All in all, I'd I'd say the greatest games of all time are Doom, Half Life, definitely not Halo, Grand Theft Auto 4. Not 4, I mean 3. Grand Theft Auto 4 is apparently good, but I haven't seen it. And then uh, yeah, God through that just hasn't reached that point for me. Any recommendations for what can reach my classics of all time? You let me know, but for now, this has been Schmidt and yeah.